one will be uh, transmitted inversely to the central eight and mm -hmm. then to the stations. So this state link is also very critical to the docking procedure. Well, it seems that the vehicle on the left is uh, is uh, rising above the red line. That red line is uh, that red line is the orbit. Uh, when the two spacecrafts enter into the docking corridor, uh, they will get two together. Mm. If any different mm. situation occur, they will have to retreat. Mm. Yeah. So the ground con the ground country is still deciding when to say we proceed and when to say we revoke yeah. uh, the, the whole... Now you can the see the yeah. flame of the lateral translation engine. So one engine is uh, started? It's working. It's yes, working. That, that, that is uh, meant to make a maneuver of that spacecraft. Uh, this is the adjustment of the lateral uh, error. The red line is the orbit of the Tiangong-1 target vehicle. Uh, a member of the standing committee registered Wu Banguo, Chinese Premier Wen Jiabao, were also a member of the standing committee of the CPC Potted Bureau, Li Changchun, were also on hand, Vice President Xi Jinping, Vice Premier Li Keqiang, He Guoqiang, another member of the CPC Standing Committee of the Potted Bureau, and Zhou Yongkang were also on hand at the Beijing Aerospace Command Center to witness uh, the rendezvous and docking process. This show that uh, the central leadership has attached a great importance to the science endeavor this time. In about 30 minutes, the two spacecraft, Shenzhou 8, will meet up with Tiangong 1, which was launched a month ago in September. Uh, it is now in the range of the station of Karachi, mm. of Pakistan. We have a ground station there. So uh, with uh, more technology being used and monitoring capab capabilities have also improved in China also thanks to uh, the data link data relays and the like. Yeah, both uh, Tiangong-1 and the Shenzhou-8 spacecrafts are in the coverage of the Tianlian-1A satellite. So this time, when they are uh, rendezvous in dock, yeah. uh, the data relay satellite will also be working to yeah. send data back to the ground. Tianlian data, re uh, data relay satellites cover the all um, docking operations all the time. Now you can show the demonstration of the 30 meter parking point. It has passed the one four zero parking point. Mm. So the next parking point will be thirty minute, thirty meters yeah. Yeah, away from each other. Yeah. At that point, we will check if and everything uh, is okay. On the left hand side is the picture taken by Shenzhou Eight. On the right hand side is the picture taken by Tiangong One. Yeah. Uh, these are pictures taken by the camera mounted on the two interior yeah. of the. Spacecrafts and the yeah. both videos are transmitted by Lian. And this is China's first tycoon uh, Yang Li Wei, also in the command center. At this time, only the Tianyan data relay satellite can transfer the and the data yeah, and I images. Yeah. So thanks to the data relay satellite, we can see those video. 
that is taken on the cameras of both spacecrafts. Now from the animation, you can see the data link has been established, the S-band data link. So there were also many sensors mounted on both spacecrafts. Yeah. What, what are those sensors supposed to do? Well, um, for, the, uh, la uh, for the laser reader, uh, we have corner readers. And for the um, microwave reader, the transponder can be seen, uh, can be recognized as a sensor. And for the video camera, there are also lights on the target vehicle. Uh, so even in the amber area of the uh, shot of the Earth, the video camera can see the target vehicle properly. Is it the case that both uh, s uh, spacecrafts yeah. are, are, are adjusting their maneuvering? Uh, positions or is it just no, one? No, just uh, the active one, Shenzhou 8. It's very near, only about 10 minutes, 10, 10 meters. You, we can see the picture Hockey. of Tiangong very clearly. Yeah. Uh, on the screen we can see, uh, this is actually Tiangong 1, yeah. taken by the camera on Shenzhou 8. It is a little confusing, but you have to remember we have two spacecrafts approaching one another and both of them have cameras on them uh, so what we see now is Tiangong 1 now this is a Tiangong 1 and this is the other way around Th this, this is, is a video, this is a picture is video from of Shenzhou 8 taken by the camera on yeah. Tiangong 1 yeah. on the left uh, there is a cable from uh, Shenzhou 8 on the right hand uh, uh, it came from uh, Tiangong 1. Yeah. The 30 meter parking point. Yeah. When they are passing the 30 meter parking point, what will happen? Uh, they will be very near to the initial condition of docking. So they are very clear initial condition for docking. Uh, there are three um, environments. First, the uh, relative uh, or the uh, relative speed be mentioned as I have mentioned to nominally to should be uh, twenty centimeters uh, per, cent. each, uh, 20, uh, centimeters per second. Twenty per second. Yeah. Yes, uh, and the second, uh, the deviation, the lateral deviation of both vehicles should be than eighteen centimeters, and the third is about the angle. The angle error both in pitching, rolling, and the rolling direction mm. should be then four degrees. Mm. Only after th these three requirements are need, we can call the condition of docking are satisfied. So in all the three dimensions, this must be correct. Yeah. What is the maximum uh, deviation that can be tolerated? I mean, in direction or in angle? In, in direction. In direction, uh, the uh, the uh, the uh, maximum error of the ax uh, axis of the both vehicles should be less than eighteen centimeters. So, if uh, more eighteen centimeters, what will happen? It will uh, bump we into each other. You can see that there are reverse engines on the Shenzhou 8, on the Shenzhou 8 uh, spaceship. If the um, docking condition cannot be met, it will reverse, reverse, and so, try docking. So the commander again. will say, uh, "I have to uh, back, back yeah, down." Yeah, uh, yeah. But uh, but it's uh, you should not worry because there are also translation engines. It can adjust the error. So they already arrived at the 30 minute yeah, parking yeah, yeah. point. You can and see and that they, the, uh, they stuck for a while. They are monitor and uh, supervising the docking process. If any problem with either Shenzhou 8 or Tiangong 1 vehicle, mm -hmm. can help it. So before they meet, yeah. they look at each other and measure each other. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also adjust on lateral, easy lateral translation engine are working. Mm. 
This is derived from the telemetry date and then uh, demonstrated on the animation. Yes. Now you can see the engine started again. more engines are working now. To adjust its relative so the, speed. This is called the final approach period. Yeah. Well, they are 30 meters away from each other, very near. Only three minutes left for Only connection. Only three minutes left until they really hooked up. Eleven meters remain. Eleven meters left for their rendezvous and docking. Nine meters. Eight, eight meters. meters. Eight meters. Now you can see the video. Six of meters. Of and from the video above, you can see the picture of one another getting larger and larger. That shows the distance between them are shorter and shorter. It's four meters. They are almost one meter. Well, it is a perfect docking. Perfect. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> a beautiful docking. It has not been finished. And it hasn't finished yet, but that's a very successful first phase. It will probably take another 15 minutes to tighten the locks. Yeah, yeah there are four procedures. Uh, after the capture, uh, it should uh, be a procedure to absorb the impact energy. After that is a forced alignment to, uh, to adjust the attitude of both vehicles. Mm -hmm. As that, the docking ring or the capture ring will pull back to make the two vehicles closer. Mm. This, this will take about 260 seconds. So that it will be airtight. Yeah. Uh, the airtight is achieved by 12 hooks. Uh, the 12, uh, 12 structural hooks are both on the top vehicle and the Shenzhou 8. This is called a uh, system level redundancy. It is a very advanced technology. Is it there any possibility we're going to pressure difference between the two spacecrafts? Um, or so generally, it's uh, real thing. Yeah, the different pressure uh, maybe the temperature, humidity, and pressure should be the same. 